You are watching Psychedelic TV. Hi, I'm Max Hayes from the band Psychedelic. In this part of MIDI for Guitars, I'm going to show you the Pigtronics Evolution 2 Deluxe. So far, I've talked about MIDI in general for guitar, but now I would like to show you the gear that I use and how I set it up. I don't use any standard pedal on a pedal board, but I like the pedals that you can control via MIDI, and the Evolution is a perfect example of this. Everything you see in this pedal you can control via MIDI. First off, I would like to tell you that there's an editor for the pedal that you can use with your computer. Here you can do all the adjustments to your sound and you can back up or bring back all settings to your pedal. This is also a good way to set the right MIDI channel for the pedal. One thing that I really like is when you can set the tap tempo with an external MIDI clock signal. The Evolution has no problem doing this. I can either send the MIDI clock signal from my computer or from the MIDI pal that I have here in my rack. A very nice feature is that when I store the setting in the pedal, it will store it with the tempo of the MIDI clock signal being played, so the next time I call up the preset, the tap tempo is in the right speed. When the Evolution doesn't receive MIDI clock signal, it will send the stored tap tempo through the MIDI app. So I found a really smart way to use this. I also have an Electro Harmonix 8-step pedal, but for some reason it will not store the MIDI clock tempo. So I had big problems to get it to be in the right tempo just by tapping the pedal. But now when I connect it from the MIDI out from the Evolution, it will run in the right stored tempo set in the Evolution pedal. So this turned out to be a really great thing for me. I'm thinking about letting the Evolution be first in the chain of MIDI effects that I have, and then I will send the right tap tempo to all my gear. As I said before, you can control everything on the Evolution via MIDI. You'll find a list for all the CC number that controls the pedal in the manual. All the knobs have their own CC number, but you can also put your expression pedal on CC number 4, then you choose what knob the expression pedal is going to control by pressing the button next to repeat. This makes it easy if you want to try out what knob you want to control with your pedal. I think it's great that if you want to have one pedal that always controls the mix, for example, then you set that pedal to number 14. But if you only have one pedal like me, then you can set it to number 4 and choose what you want to control for that preset. Even if the Evolution is a great pedal, you might want to turn it off sometime. Then there's two ways of turning the pedal on and off via MIDI. You can either sign up a button on your pedal board that has the CC number 27 or you can program the preset that you're using to either be an on or off preset. Then you will have to set the pedal board to turn it off with one preset and then turn it on with another preset. As you can see, this is what I'm doing here. To be able to program the preset, I have to go into the edit mode and choose custom. Because I already used the number 1 and number 2 for the 8-step pedal, then I used the number 3 for the Evolution. So I scroll to where it says C, C, H and press to the right. Here I set the N to 27 and the V to 3. The number 3 means that it's turned on and if I set it to number 4 it is turned off. So now you go through all your preset and set the preset to 27.3 where you want the pedal to be on and 27.4 where you want it to be off. This is very handy if you don't want to occupy a button on your pedal board and never turn the pedal on and off within the same preset. Well, that is everything for this episode. I hope this has given you some ideas on how to use and control the Evolution 2 Deluxe via MIDI. Feel free to write any questions or comments down below. If you like this video, please subscribe to Psychedelic TV to be updated on our upcoming videos. You can also visit Psychedelic's webpage at psychedelic.com and why not be friends with us on Psychedelic's Facebook page. Here you can find more info about the band and listen to some great music. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again. And remember folks, Use it for good, not for evil.